It will be appropriated. And yes, I'm sure this guy is a fanatic. I mean, it, we've heard from his ex-wife, by the way, in newspapers, the Washington Post and elsewhere. He beat her up. He was a... He apparently had no religious, strong religious convictions whatsoever. And what we often get is a situation, people went to Syria, what's the first book they buy off Amazon? Islam for dummies. I, people like this will select and choose but from no, religion no, 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 or no, otherwise no, to justify no, their bigotry. That's, that's my but point. A lot of the people, again, you've gone off to fight in Syria and Iraq, they're looking for something, they've got something missing in their lives, they're looking for something. But this, look, this guy, by whatever reason you do it, if you kill let's, 50 people, you are a lunatic. And, and to well, a certain extent... Let's, 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 just, let's just return to the fact that mm. in LA, the yeah. gay pride event has passed off without an attack, Despite but, they arrested again, them, there was yeah. an arrest of person... Who wasn't a Muslim. Uh, well, well, as, as we don't know, what, what the, as far as we know, with explosives in a car and arms as well. So, um, you know, clearly there is the question about whether there is, a, as you say, a hate crime or whether something's being done in the name of religion. It's both. And we do have I'm to sure. try and... People look, people rationalise their hatred. This guy, apparently, according to his dad, saw two men kissing mm -hmm. and he was repulsed by it. And people know this who are gay, that there are people out there who are sickened and repulsed by our very existence. And this guy, however he dresses up his bigotry and hatred, is somebody who hates gays. He hates LGBT people. And he had a gun and because of, as you say, America's gun laws, he used that to murder LGBT people. But can we just be clear, just so, because you say it's lunatics and all the rest of it, we've got to be clear, if he went into a synagogue and killed innocent Jewish people, as, as we've well. got mass people in the past who've done that, disgusting anti-Semitic terrorists, we would call it out for what it is. This person is a homophobic terrorist, whatever else he is, Presumably, he's got some twisted view of Islamic fundamentalism to justify his... Even though he's just a, a knuckle-dragging thug and bigot. At the end of the day, this was a homophobic hate crime, as well as terrorism. Has to be called out, because I have to say, on Sky News and other, uh, lots of news channels, there's not been many LGBT voices that I've personally heard myself. And people have to understand, as LGBT people watching this and elsewhere, that they look at something like this, and it is one of the worst atrocities committed against LGBT people in the Western world for generations. Well, it's, it's, and it's, it has to it's be called something out that's carried out against human beings, isn't yeah. it? No matter LGBT, what. No, but you know, no, 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 let, no, let's, no. Let's, let's, no. Let's, let's just make this point thing, yeah. that you, you cannot say this is a worse attack than what happened in Paris, where again say innocent that. people were I said actually. It's LGBT that. people. What I'm saying is, this has to be called out for what it is. It was an intentional attack. Mm. On LGBT people, this well, person on, on the freedom of, of all people to try and enjoy themselves as as bad. No, I'm sorry. Can we just explain? You don't understand this because you're not gay, okay? So just whether listen. I'm gay or not has no. No, it does. It, can you just, it has just no. Listen. It has no I reflection I on the fact that this you have person ownership just killed. Of, you have ownership exactly. of horror of yeah. this crime. Can I just say? Because I, find you're gay. This, I find this. I find this astonishing. I'm, right, not, I'm not Jewish and I'm not excuse gay. Me, excuse I'm not, me. I'm not French. Let's, let's, but let's I'm still stick. This was horrified. Let's by stick with what the papers are saying about it rather than what you're saying at the moment. But that's the headline. ISIL wages war on gays in West. Now you share that view that basically this was deliberately targeted on one part what of on the community earth? rather than the freedom to enjoy yourself no matter what your sexual orientation is. What are you talking about? This I'm was talking about the coverage in the newspapers. Yeah, I'm, and I'm trying That's to, what we're here I'm for. I'm trying to understand the point you're making. Mm -hmm. This was a deliberate atta attack on LGBT people in an LGBT venue. It was a homophobic terrorist attack. Do you not understand that? No, well, I think, I what I think point, we do, I think, It's not some abstract kind of, he just picked a random club out of nowhere. He picked a club because it was full of people he regarded as deviants. Okay, this That's is, why okay, he attacked I, the club. I, say, I, think, I think part of the issue is, okay, this is a clear, it's a hate crime, this is an act of terrorism, all accepted, it was an attack on gay people. Absolutely, it's horrific. However, uh, my, my guess is this man would probably be as horrified by me as a, as a gobby woman as, as he would. Genuinely, genuinely, this is the thing. I, we don't know right now. We can speculate, but we don't know. We don't know how much of this is motivated by just his homophobia, whether that in I any just, way uh, is related to his religion. We heard from his own, or is anything. We heard, we heard from his own no, father we know about he's his homophobic. We Why know are we trying he's... to deflect? I mean, what? Oh, God, we're not, we are not pick... trying to deflect. No. We are trying to reflect what Can... is being said by the authorities ask, here. And, the, what and to quote, to you've to brought up his father. I'm now going to quote from what the Telegraph is saying. Mateen's father said his son, a US citizen of Afghan descent, may have targeted the gay community may have. after becoming he angry when Why he saw... Why are you saying this? No, after seeing two men kissing in Miami some months ago. I don't... He may have been angered by many other things I'm sorry, I just you find know. this the most astonishing thing I've ever been involved on television. If he'd walked into a synagogue and massacred dozens of Jewish people, mm. you wouldn't be saying, 
what you're saying now. We're not saying you'd be he's talking not homophobic. about as an anti-Semitic attack. This was a deliberate attack on LGBT people. It was a deliberate okay. attack on the LGBT community. As, yes, as it was on those people in the black community. It's not bizarre. That, it's not bizarre. We are trying bizarre. to draw parallels in <laughs> terrorist attacks on people who are being attacked, whether they are enjoying rock music in Paris, whether yes. they are gay people in Florida attack. enjoying a night out. This was okay? an attack on LGBT, on LGBT people. This was a homophobic can attack. I, can I say that one of the issue? Okay, I, I, I completely accept, as, as he does, that it was a homophobic attack. But for me, the issue is there are going to be homophobic people. There'll be people who who hate black people or who hate gay people, or hate Jew, Jew, Jewish people. There are going to be people who are lunatics. There are going to be people who are fanatics. Who are lunatics? Stop can using these possible, words, Julia. Is it possible for me to finish one sentence? If you stop using just, words like lunatic um, to talk the, about homophobic here's terrorist here's attacks. Here's the thing. I'll choose the words I want to use, and you choose the words you want to use. Do you understand? Go right. for it, Julia. Okay. Well, thank you. So whoever these people are and whatever their motivations are the key thing is we're always going to have mad and bad people mad in, in and the world people. and okay. the, the key issue is that they can't do too much or any harm when you have free access to assault weapons right. in, in in a country like america then they are able to put their hatred yes, of other obviously. people into effect. Now, and this, do this is an issue That's that President issue Obama brought up in his news conference at the White House because we have obviously again an assault rifle that's been used in this particular attack. <laughs> now, in terms of the political reaction in the United States, we've got Donald Trump. <laughs> tonight oh, calling for think. all foreign-born Muslims to be banned again from entering the US, but no call for gun crime controls. Now, no matter who you want to target with the attacks, is this, again, a major issue for America, yes. or is it that these people will be able to get hold of, of the weapons wherever they are well, in no, the world? Well, no, because that's an interesting thing. They don't get hold of the weapons in, in Australia. They don't get hold of the weapons uh, in England. Um, you know, Canada actually has more, more guns per person than uh, America, but they have controls over who can have them. It is absolutely absurd. Look, if America were not going to do something about gun control after yeah. Sandy Hook in 2012, if you're going to watch six- and seven-year-olds being massacred and you don't think you need to act, they are never going and to act. I think act. I'm it's... right in saying Old Compton Street was a nail bomb. Yeah, yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they're never going to act. But this is it. But, but Trump's reaction, the tweets he's sent out since, have been so beyond acceptable in terms of the reaction of a normal human being, let alone well, someone who wants to be the leader of the world. I think he's called for President Obama to resign tonight as well. Oh, let's let's go back. There's, there's something else here in uh, <laughs> the Telegraph coverage, which I think we need to, to bring well, up, Owen, in relation to your point. And that is, I think, that we've got uh, a warning, or at least a call from... Uh, just going to move it across. Uh, a spokesman for Stonewall uh, saying that people would be feeling vulnerable yes. uh, and basically indicating... Well, you're going to have an LGBT voice talking about it. Interesting. Oh. Sorry? Nothing. Carry on. Go on. Owen, oh, seriously. I'm, I've I'm, had enough of this. Let me go. go. Owen, oh, no genuinely. Way. We're trying to have a civilised conversation. I know, have it. I I know you're upset. You're yeah, upset. I am. And I'm, you're very upset. I'm, I'm very quite upset. right. Everyone's upset and angry about this, but storming off a TV Sorry. set. Right. Well, I right. think we'll okay, continue the we press on? preview uh, yes. and say that clearly... Um, there is now uh, a concern. They've got the London Pride Festival on yeah. June the 25th. Peter Tatchell saying it's always been on the cards. Yeah. 